definition of contraception ah ah that is part 1 to 1 so what is contraception contraception is nothing but yeah divi and shan you are right it is used for contraceptive purpose so any method or system which allows intercourse but it prevents conception it is called as contraception i'm not worried about the definition anyway you know about the definition now tell me how do you calculate the failure rate of contraception yeah very good it is called as pearl index how do you calculate this pearl index this was asked all india recently asked all india question how do you calculate pearl index formula i am asking how, what is the formula for pearl index ah uh, good 100 women years what will take in 100 women years formula formula can any one of you answer recent times question that is yeah with now answer a b c d read carefully a b c d also there c is there why only 1200 why not 2400 ha huh? why a others is a correct answer you want to go with that guy a correct answer or why not b c d pearl index what is the formula of pearl index so before going to this formula we need to know what is this pearl index so how we are measuring this failure rate we are measuring that in terms of pregnancy rate per 100 women years how we are calculating for 100 women year each year how many months are there 1200 months so for 100 women years i mean how many accidental pregnancies the patient attain for 12 months for each year is 12 months overall for 100 years we are taking it is 1200 years by number of patients how many patients they have used and how many months of uses okay the answer is a this was recent aims question so why we are calculating only 1200 is it is 100 women years per year we are having 12 months so it is 1200 months you are right so the answer is a is it clear what is pearl index so these are all the various now tell me what are all the contraceptive you know what are all the very yeah, good very good barrier method can you can you tell me failure rate of barrier method 50 no method has got such a high failure rate what is the maximum failure rate for which method 6 antena maximum failure rate for which method okay at least tell me which per, which percent what is the percent maximum failure rate yeah rishi you are right Rishi, Divi, they have answered. Online people have answered. Maximum failure rate comes around 24%. Okay, we'll see which method has got such a maximum failure rate. Huh? Mitrana. We'll see. Ocipils. No, 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 no. Ocipils have got very good methods. Barrier method. No. We'll see. So, which method has got that? So, coming to what are all the various methods? Natural methods, you tell me. How to avoid it. The patient, suppose she is a religious patient. Some patients are the religious. They don't use any methods. A patient is scared of OC pills because she will put on weight. Scared of IUCDs we can't give because she is just married. So, you want to give which method? So, what are all the natural methods of contraception? Abstinence, very good. Next. Huh? Bit loud. Calendar method, very good. It is otherwise called as? The name of calendar method is? The Guru cross method. Very good. Very good. It was asked for you. So, the name of calendar method is Uguro cross method. Next. Are there any other methods? Only abstinence and calendar methods? Naturally, no other methods? Yeah, very good. One is basal body temperature. Next. Billings. The, it is called as Billings. Is, so, very good. This was asked. What is Billings method? We measure the cervical mucus. We see the cervical mucus. Do you remember? Estrogen. What is there? And one more, spin barcade, progesterone, tact phenomena. So, how the estrogen, it will be something like a, if you pull, it will be bubble gum, it will be coming, spreading. So, that is estrogen, favored mucus. Why progesterone favored mucus, we don't advise because that won't allow sperms. 
ओके व्हाट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइड इफेक्ट ऑफ क्लोमफिन सिट्रेट ओके अदर देन वॉइस चेसेस इट इज वेरी रेयर क्लोमफिन इज यूज्ड फॉर इंडक्शन ऑफ ओवलेशन इंडक्शन आर नॉट फॉर प्रेगनेंसी आर नॉट बट विच व्हाट इज व्हाट आई मीन इट इज इनहिबिटिंग प्रेगनेंसी एट द सेम टाइम बाय हाउ cervical mucus it is going to thicken the cervical mucus something like a progesteronic phase so if it thickens the cervical mucus it is going to prevent the motility of the sperm so that is the main disadvantage with clomiphene in the last class we have discussed okay now tell me okay coming to various methods first method is abstinence during the fertile period so tell me suppose a patient has come you want to tell her to abstain so which is the fertile period a 28 day cycle which is the fertile period regular cycles 28 days Around ovulation means she doesn't know when I am ovulating. How can I know, doctor? So suppose I am the patient. So advise me from which days to which days it is fertile period. Which days to which days it is unsafe period? Twelve to fourteen. Only that is sufficient. Can you assure? I mean, can you guarantee the patient will ovulate only during that time? Hmm? Before menstruation, how many days? patient has come near you directly how you will advise a patient which is safe period which is unsafe period how will you calculate a safe period for a 28 day cycle patient normal regular 28 day cycle every month she is having newly married she doesn't want kid immediately so what is safe period so the safe period in a case of normally 28 day cycle is you know 14th day normally it is the period of ovulation but remember the ovulation always will not occur on the 14th day it can occur any day between the normally 12th to 16th day so one more thing is even to so now or shall i tell the patient don't go do intercourse only in 12th to 16th day later you can do that no suppose the egg is released on 16th day they had an intercourse on 16th day they stopped on 17th day now the patient can become pregnant or not or else suppose the patient uh, 16 okay 12th to 16th day is unsafe period okay 17th day they had intercourse now can she become pregnant why very important the egg can live for 24 hours the sperm can live for 72 hours so even though they had intercourse on 17th day they still can become pregnant that is the reason why so what are all the safe period and unsafe period so normally how to tell intercourse anything between 10th to 18th day so take this per value so 10 days to 18th day never advise a patient to have an intercourse okay advise 10 days i mean 10th before her 10th she can now after 28 18th day she can have intercourse so how uh, this is how we calculate the safe period so 10th to 18th day yeah this is which method is ogenoknos method cross it is ha huh? which is this method in just now answered you who has answered this question you have answered ha huh? who has answered now answer why you are not answering rhythm method it is it is rhythm method so if we use all combination of this methods it is called as if we use a combination we use combination of all these methods i don't want to go only on cervical mucus i don't want to go only on calendar method we use a combination of all these methods what do we call it as integrated i i'll add your name before that what is your name billings method is cervical mucus so we measure the cervical mucus that is billings method okay we'll see what are all in detail which of the following is not a barrier contraceptive which is a barrier method then what is today today is it a contraceptive barrier method is it not a tablet today what is today what is today is it a tablet today many questions are there on today what is today answer is a b c d answer is b what is centromon saheli centromon is saheli it comes under name saheli it is nothing but a tablet centromon is a tablet non steroidal contraceptive then what is today it is vaginal sponge 
ओके टुडे इस वेजनल स्पॉन्ज सो इट इज ऑल्सो ए बेरियर मेथड सेंट्रोमाइन इज द ड्रग इज अ टैबलेट समथिंग लाइक ओसीपिल so coming to calendar or rhythm method so that is what we have seen what we do is we calculate the safe period and the unsafe period during that safe period we can allow the patient to have intercourse from 10th to 18th we don't advise the intercourse so below 10th she can have intercourse after 18th she can have intercourse is it clear suppose a patient is having 35 days cycle ever mm, answer anyone can you answer anyone of you can answer 35 days cycle now tell me patient has come to you which is safe which is unsafe the question was given for you in all india 35 days now tell me which is safe safe or unsafe period you want to tell unsafe period yeah good tell me 35 days why is it clear now the basics are very important which phase is constant and first phase or second phase luteal phase is constant so always the egg gets released only in the second phase suppose this is the 35 days period 0 to 35 days period but we have already discussed that proliferative phase and secretory phase the secretory phase always remains constant so how to calculate the safe period suppose a patient gives 35 days cycle from back come count it and count 14 days so from back if you count 14 days which is the day of ovulation 35 minus 14 21 so 21 on 21 is the most approximate day of ovulation so is it clear this is the approximate day of ovulation but we can add three five days and three days prior to this and behind this okay that i'll tell you in the next thing so always so if you want to calculate from 35 minus 14th day but not from 0 to 14 is it clear why because this phase is constant this may patient may ovulate or may not ovulate but to calculate the ovulation come from behind this phase is always constant is it clear so the safe period this we have already discussed so normally from 5 days before ovulation so in such a case if the all india question was given like this so the patient was having 35 days of her cycle which is the unsafe period in such a kind of patient now you have minus 14 days so the day of ovulation is 21st day so add 5 days before ovulation and 3 days behind that so 5 days if you add before from what will be there 16 3 days behind so that is the period is it clear that is the safe period or unsafe period unsafe period so during that period she should not have an intercourse rest of the time she can have intercourse so the questions are asked for you like this this is the way how you need to calculate is it clear in this or any doubt okay good this is what we have discussed risk period okay calendar with this is otherwise called as ogenoknos method the same thing so if fertile period if it is a long cycle this is other way of calculating a calendar method but remember the failure rate is 25 pregnancies so the calendar method has got a high failure rate it is 25 pregnancies per 100 women years uh, failure rate no other alternative you have to remember okay especially for iucds oc pills pop pills they are frequently asked failure rates uh, write all failure rates at one uh, one end of your page or one or uh, somewhere you write every failure rate suppose today now we have started the first thing is calendar method failure rate is 25 so leave some space around half of the place so that you can write all failure rates at a time so that you can it is easily for you to remember this is 25 pregnancies coming to mucus method it is otherwise called as billings method we'll take a break then we'll go okay